Hi guys, this is Sadek from Problem.com. In this video, we'll show you how to take a screenshot in those app that does not allow it by default. So let me show you, for example, using a banking app known as Paytm. If I try to take a screenshot over here, you could see it's just a blank screenshot, the black one. I cannot view it or do anything with this. So I'll show you how to take a screenshot in all these apps. And the best part, we will not be using root as well. It's a non-rooting environment and the entire task will be done likewise. So you could see if I launch the root checker app onto my phone, I agree. Get started. Verify root. My phone is currently not rooted. So I'll show you how to take a screenshot in all those apps that does not allow by default taking screenshot in a non-root phone. So let's get started. First and foremost, you have to install and set up the Shizuku app onto your phone. I made an article on that as well. You could have a look at the article in the video and get this job done. But I'll show you once again from scratch. So first off, install the Shizuku app from Play Store. Once that is done, this is the Shizuku app. Once that is done, go to the settings menu. From settings, go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. Just give me a second. And now go back again, go back, go to system, dev options and enable the toggle next to USB. Okay, not USB. Enable the toggle next to wireless debugging, which is over here. Just give me a second. This is the one tap on allow and we have turned on wireless debugging. Now you will launch the Shizuku app and there are quite a few ways of opening this app via wireless debugging via PC or via root. We cannot use the root method. Likewise, let's not use the PC because that will be somewhat lengthy approach. Easiest way is to use a wireless debugging. So tap on pairing, notification options, allow all notifications, then go back and now tap on dev options. From here, scroll to the wireless debugging section, tap on it, pair device with pairing code. You now get a code. So type in this code in the Shizuku prompt, which in our case is 849446. Hit the enter key. Pairing now. You can now see we have now done the pairing. So now minimize it. Launch the Shizuku app onto your phone, and go back and tap on start. And you can now see Shizuku is now starting in a few seconds. And let's now verify. You can see it's up and running in ADV mode. The Shizuku is now running. So let's now get started with the next step. Now install the LS Patch app from GitHub. So get the app from here. LS Patch Patch app. The APK file. Install it onto your phone. Let me install the app as well. Files Manager app is over here. Continue, allow storage, LS patch, settings, allow from this source, install the APK. You might get a warning sign, tap on install anyway. And we have installed the LS patch app as well. Next up, you have to now install the disable flag secure module. So go to this official GitHub link and get the APK file from here. So let's now install that as well. It will be at the bottom. Let me skip this. The banner is not going. I don't know why. Okay, now let's install the app. Disable flag secure is now also installed. So first off, launch the LS patch and you might get this warning. Tap on it. Allow all the time from Shizuku and it's now using the Shizuku access. So now go to the manage section and you could now see we have the module installed. Disable flag secure. Now go to apps. Okay, before that you have to do a restart. That is a must and only after that the model will be up and running. So please do a restart of the phone. This is not, I just hit this new settings, power menu and restart. So up until now, what we have done is we have started the Shizuku app. After that, we have installed the LS patch and then flash the module as well. The disable flag secure module. And now we could get the job done. So this will take a few seconds. Okay, one more very important thing. There is one issue with the Shizuku app. If you are using the wireless debugging, now after every wireless debugging, the port number changes. So you have to do a connection with the Shizuku from scratch once again. Only in case of routing, that will not happen. But since we are not using the root module, you have to get this job done. So every time you restart the phone, the port number and IP might change. So please, you have to restart the Shizuku app as well. Let me show you once again what I am saying. If you launch the Shizuku app, it's not running. So tap on start, it will not run like this also. So first you have to go to the Dev options and go to the system dev options and from here wireless debugging is enabled or not turn it on now go to wireless debugging and from the Shizuku app launch it once again tap on pairing dev options and from here let's go from here as well wireless debugging pair device with pairing code type in this code in the Shizuku prompt which is 924186 hit enter so now minimize the app, launch Shizuku, go back, tap on start. And you can now see the app will now be up and running in a few seconds. 
and the Shizuku is now running. You will now launch the LS Patch app, and the module is shown here as well in the module section. Likewise, in the Shizuku app, you could see authorized one app that is the LS Patch app. So it's now all working well and good. Now go to the apps tab. From here, tap on the plus icon. Okay. So make a new folder over here. Let's name it uh, LS Patch only. And tap on okay. Use this folder. Allow. Okay. And now tap on select APK from storage or installed app. For now, I'm using an installed app, which is the play, the PDM. So I'm using the second option, installed app. And I will now choose the PDM app. There are two ways: the local or integrated. Let's choose the local patch mode only. And after that, tap on start patch. To now patch the app in a few seconds. It's now done. Now minimize it. Remove the PDM app from your phone. Okay, not this, the entire Paytm app from your phone. Uninstall the app. Uninstall, it's not removed. Now go back to the LS patch and now install the APK from here of the Paytm app. App is now installed. So now long press on the Paytm app. Choose module scope. Check mark the module which is flag secure. Hit the blue check mark. And now that is done. Now you may launch the app of Paytm over here. And if I now take a screenshot, let me show you. Allow. Now I'm going to take a screenshot. You could see it's now easily taken without any issue whatsoever. So guys, the steps are quite simple. First off, you have to install the Shizuku app, then install the LS patch, then flash the module, which is the Defer Flash Secure. After that, choose the app from here. Tap on the plus icon, choose the app, either the APK file or the app. So in our case, we are using the installed app. As you could see, we choose the, the PDM app. After that, you have to choose the module scope, which in our case, we are using the local one. You could choose either the local or the integrated. For now, we choose the local. Then tap on it, start patch. We will now get a patch APK file. Don't install the APK file right now. First, remove the app from your app drawer and then install the APK file. After that, long press on the app on the app and choose module scope. Then check mark the module which you are using, which is the flag secure. Hit the blue check mark. And after that, you will now get, get the APK file, install the app, and that is it. You will now get a patch APK and you could now get the job done with ease. And if you want to access the APK file, so you may go to the file storage and we have made a new folder over here, which is the name LS patch. And you could now see we have got the APK file over here. You could now use the APK if required. So guys, that's all from this video. If you have any query with regard to any of the steps, do let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.